first grade so welcome to the math lesson we're still in topic 15 lesson 8 and we're learning and talking about sorting solid figures remember this topic we talked about plane shapes and uh, solid figures we know the plane shapes are flat and they don't take up space but the solid figure they are taking up space we also learn that um, we can uh, classify or sort plane shapes based on their similarities they look alike or differences so we remember when we said how many straight sides the uh, squares or rectangular got and how many corners all right today we're gonna do the same but for um, the rectangle uh, for the our solid figures all right let's see we have here solid figures and we need to find something that these solid figures can be common in both or more than one so for example what are some ways the solid figures can be alike so first row we have cube we have sphere and we have rectangular prism so i can tell that not much alike sphere like rectangular prism or the cubes so not similar in anything so i'll be talking about cubes and rectangular prism so what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say rectangular prism i'm gonna write it down here and again remember i'm talking here about cubes so we have rectangular prism and cube i know that they're both get remember how many flat surface so we can say they have the same number of flat surface have the same number of flat surfaces or you can say they have the same numbers of vertices so that will be just an example so we use the two shapes that there is something common or there's some figures that they are alike and then we say it together so for example here number one, we have sphere we have cylinder and we have rectangular prism And say that these two shapes both get flat surface right not the same number but they both get flat surface because that's something that the sphere don't have so I'm looking at something that two shapes of that row they have it so what they both these two both shapes have cylinder and rectangular prism both get flat surface so we can say this not the same numbers of flat surface but they both get for example sphere get nothing so i cannot compare sphere with a uh, rectangular prism that is alike or i can say sphere alike um, cylinder in, in this part so over here because we have rectangular prism we're going to use sir so we're going to say the cylinder and rectangular prism rectangular prism have they both have flat surfaces okay if I want to compare these two together I can say they're both what what they're common about they're both don't have vertex or vertices yeah but i choose these two the rectangular prism and the cylinder All right let's go for number three we have cone we have sphere and we have cylinder so we need to take two of the shapes that they have something alike or something common so we can say for example the cylinder and the cone they both can roll I say so yes well cone 
is still rolling, although it's not in a straight uh, uh, line, but we're not talking about straight line now, we're talking about the rolling. So cylinder can roll and that cone can roll. Also. So we can use these two shapes. This is the two shapes we use. So we can use two shapes and we can say they roll. Or again, we can use sphere and cylinder and you say there is no corners or vertices for this two shape if you use this two. I'm just giving you an example. So we're gonna say the cylinder and the cone and the sphere. Actually, we can use sphere also. They all can roll. So this is something that three shapes can do. So let's be a generous. So we can say the cone can roll. I know it's not a straight line, but will roll. Sphere will roll. And then cylinder will roll. And if you want to use only two shapes, we can use, for example, the cone and cylinder and say both get flat surface. Or we can use cylinder and sphere and we say they both get no vertices, zero vertices or zero corners. So it's up to you. So since we used the rolling, so actually three of them roll, all right, and can roll. So do not mention uh, on a straight line because of course the cone won't roll on straight line. So we're just saying rolling. All right, now we have one, two, three shapes. I know that they have flat surface, we use that. I know that they have vertices, we use that. So let's say they can roll or not. Let's see. Nope. Let me draw. Oops. Roll. So these two shapes, cubes and rectangular prism, we have two rectangular prism, they're both, or the three of them, will not roll. And we can say that all three shapes or three figures, they are solid figures, so let's say three solid figures can or cannot roll cannot roll very good because we use flat surface before we use surf, um, vertices so we try to do something different all right let's turn the page and see what we have there All right, page 500, let's read what we have. Find the solid figure that rolls and has two flat surface. So, can roll and have two flat surface. Can roll and have two flat surface. Is it a cone, a cylinder, or a sphere? I know they can roll, but who got the two surface, two flat surface? A cone and a cylinder uh, roll and have flat surface, but only the cylinder get to flat surface. So these are the shapes that we're talking about. Can rolls? Yes. But which one have two flat surface? Will be that cylinder. All right. guided practice read the sorting rule circle the solid figures that follows the rule so this is the rules this is what they will tell you like the rattle or the details and we need to find which solid figure that match these rules all right let's see number one has flat surfaces cannot roll sphere has no flat surface Cone have flat surface, cylinder have flat surface, but we know that these two solid figures can roll, so it's the cubes. Cubes get flat surfaces and cannot roll, so that would be the right solid figure. So we circle that. 
All right, number two. Can roll, no flat surface. So can roll, remember we said cylinder can roll. Cone will roll also. Sphere will roll. But what's the second rule? No flat surface. There's one flat surface for the cone, so that's not the one. Cylinder get two flat surface. This is not the shape. Sphere have no flat surface, so that would be the one. And we're gonna circle the sphere. All right. Number three, get one vertex and one flat surface. One vertex and one flat surface. We have cone, we have cube, we have cylinder, and we have sphere. One flat surface and one vertex. So that would be the cylinder. All right, number four, no vertices in two flat surface. No vertices, no corners in two flat surface. Can we talk about rectangular prism? No, rectangular prism get six flat surface. All right, and get eight vertices. How about cubes? Cubes get the same, six flat surfaces and eight vertices. How about spheres? No vertices, yeah, but two flat surfaces, no. Nope. Not this one. How about cylinder? Two flat surface and no vertex, no corners. So that's the one. All right, do you understand? Do you understand how are a cone and a cube alike and different? A cone and a cube. Hmm, a cone and a cube alike. How they're alike and how they're different. They both get flat surfaces. Yeah, cone get one, but get one. And then also get vertices. So they are like that they get both have flat surface and vertices or corners. So this is the like. But what's the difference between both of them? Cubes. Cube one roll, but the cone. under the camera, the cone will roll. So that's the difference that cube won't roll, but the cone will roll. And like they both got flat surface and vertices. So we need to write this down. So all what you see as we, we do here, actually describing the solid figures that we have. Okay, so let's write down cone and a cube alike in what way they both have both have flat surfaces and vertices they are not the same number but it's there all right What's the difference? We said that the cone can roll, but the cube cannot roll. We saw that. Read the starting rule, circle the solid figure that follows the rule. So exactly what we did here, we're gonna do here. Let's see. Number five, two flat surfaces. So two flat surfaces only. We have cubes, we have sphere, we have cone, and we have cylinder. Which solid figure get two flat surfaces? You got it. It's easy now. Number six, eight vertices, eight corners. Cube, sphere, cone, or cylinder. Very good. Remember, we counted before in the previous lesson. Eight corners. So, cubes. Number seven. Six flat surfaces. Six flat surfaces. Sphere, no flat surface. Cone, one. 
cylinder, two flat surfaces. So I'm looking for six, so it's going to be my cubes. And I know now cubes have six flat surfaces and eight vertices. So my choice would be, again, cubes. Number eight, one flat surface. I know, that's easy. You got it. Cone, you got one flat surface. All right, number nine, geometry. What rule tells how these solid figures are alike? These solid figures. Rectangular prism and cylinder. What rule tells those two shapes are alike? They both have one rule. They both have more than one flat surface. Very good. So we're gonna say they both cylinder and rectangular prism have more than one flat surface because we know that we cannot say for example um, rolling because Rectangular prism one roll, cylinder will roll. We cannot use uh, vertices because I know that the cylinder get eight uh, vertices, but the cylinder uh, rectangular prism get eight uh, vertices, but cylinder have zero. So what's the rule that they both alike? Yeah, they both get more than one flat surface, right? Cool. Let's see, page five hundred and two, question number ten. Joanne collects things that have no vertices, no corner. She found a marble, a pencil box. Which will she put in her collection? So, looking for things that they have no vertices, no corners. So she found a marble, like a sphere, like a ball, and then she found a pencil box. Yeah, could be like that. A pencil box so which one have no vertices no corners sphere or a ball or a marble or a pencil box I know this is I can see the corners my pencil box so definitely not the pencil box so what she gonna do she gonna keep the marble to add it to her collection so we're gonna write marble all right number 11 Fumi has a solid figure that has two flat surfaces and it has no vertices. What solid figure is it? I look at my solid figures. I know them now. I can describe them easily. And this one has two flat surfaces. Right away, I see my cylinder. And let's read the rest of the rules. And it has no vertices. That's it. So it's a cylinder, and we're gonna write here, cylinder. Okay, let's see. Number 12, which object can draw? An eraser, which is like rectangular prism. A can, which is like a cylinder. A book, again, is like rectangular prism or a block like a cube. Remember that some shapes we say they won't be, uh, they cannot roll, cannot roll, cannot roll, cannot roll. Yes, so cylinder or can will roll. So that would be your choice B. Number 13, tell how a cone and a cylinder are alike and different. Use pictures, numbers, or words. Cone and cylinder, how they're alike and how they're different. So we can say they both can both can roll, very good, but also, we can say the cone has one flat surface and the cylinder have two flat surfaces. Or we can say they both can roll. 
and then cylinder have no vertices and the cone have one vertex so we can use any rules that it works for both so both are alike and it's different for both we can say for example cone and cylinder We decide they're alike, they both can, all right, both all. And we see the cone has one flat surface and the cylinder have two flat surfaces. So that's the difference. You can see the cone has one flat surface. In a cylinder has how many? Two, very good, two flat surfaces. Okay. So today we learn how to sort solid figures we learn how to have some um, attribute or features or um, uh, things that it's common or alike for two or more of the solid figures and what's the difference so we for for example for the rectangular prism and for cubes we say they both have the same numbers of flat surface we second row we talked about the uh, rectangular prism and cylinder that one can roll one cannot roll and for number three we have the three shapes that three shapes can roll and for number four we say four shape the three shapes for number four cannot roll those solid figures cannot roll and we also learned that sorting rules that we have to match one of the shapes that goes with the rules that we have it here all right so we used again our solid figures that we've been learning rectangular prism, cylinder, cone, sphere, and cube. All right, first graders, that's it for today's lesson. Thank you. Bye-bye.